This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, I'll be discussing NURBS curves. NURBS curves are a type of vector that is used in Rhino. This type of vector is excellent for doing design work because it's very precise and it's very easy for editing and achieving analytical and freeform shapes. The most basic type of NURBS curve is a single line. We're prompted for a star point and an end point. By definition, because a NURBS curve is a vector, it's a direction in 3D space. We can see this direction by going to Analyze, Direction, selecting the curve, and pressing Enter. We can see this direction is going from the star point to the end point. We can flip the direction by clicking the Flip option, and now it goes the opposite way. Right click when you're finished. Another property of curves is that they can have seams. In an open curve such as this, there's a start point and an end point. And in a closed curve such as a rectangle, there's also a start point and an end point. But because it's a closed curve and the start point and end point overlap, there's a seam in the object. We can see the seam by going to Curve, Curve Edit Tools. Adjust Close Curve Seam. We can select the rectangle, and right click, and we can see the seam in the bottom left hand corner. We can move the position of the seam by clicking on it one time. Now I can drag the mouse and move the seam and place it in any new position simply by clicking again. I can put it back in the original position by clicking. I have control over it, move it, and click again, and right click when you're finished. NURBS curves are evaluated by their degree, their control points, and their knot vector. I'm going to draw some more curves to help explain this. A circle and a freeform curve. Curves made of line segments, such as this single line and this rectangle, are considered degree 1. Circles, arcs, and ellipses are degree 2, and freeform curves are degree 3 and higher. Typically, we'll be dealing with degree 1, 2, and 3 curves. The degree is relative to the smoothness of the curve, and it also is associated to the control points and the knot vectors. The number of control points in a particular curve is at least the degree plus 1. For example, this line is a degree 1 curve. So the number of control points is 1 plus at least one more. So this curve must have at least two control points. We can see the number of control points by going to Edit, Control Points, and we have many different commands for working with control points. Control Points On and Control Points Off. These have their associated shortcut keys F10 and F11. I'm going to choose Control Points On, and I can select this object and right click. We can see it has two control points, one at the begin and one at the end. We can adjust this curve by clicking and dragging these control points and editing the shape. I prefer many times to pre-select the curves and then press the F10 key. Now we can see the control points on all these different curves. And we can drag and edit these shapes with ease. The knot vector is this dotted line that you see connecting control points. We can edit the number of control points by removing or adding control points. We can simply select a control point and press the delete key to remove a control point. To add a control point, we go to the edit menu, control points, and insert control point. Select the curve, and you can see as I move the mouse along the curve, the point travels along the knot vector. When I find a position that I would like to add a control point, I simply click, and now you can see we have a new control point. You can now drag this for more localized editing. Curves also have control points and kinks. A kink is where when you move a control point, you have a sharp angle in between the two curves. We can see this in a circle. We have four kinks at each of the quadrants. If I go ahead and I move this, we can see that I have a kink there. There are three more kinks in a circle. 
you can click the undo button to undo the movement of the control points. We can remove kinks by changing the degree of the curve and rebuilding the curve, or we could also remove the kinks with the control point commands. We can rebuild this curve and change the degree of it from 2 to 3, and we'll have a more editable curve where we don't have to deal with the kinks. I'm going to press Escape to turn off the control points. I'm going to go to Edit and Rebuild, select the curve, and right click, and we can see we have a point count of 8, and the new point count is set to 8, and the current degree is 2, the new degree is going to be 3. I have the Delete Input box checked, so this will delete the original circle. I'm going to increase the point count to 10, and I can click the Preview button. We can see here that we have a maximum deviation. We also have what appears to be a red point. If we zoom on this, we can actually see that there is a small line. This is showing the area where the maximum deviation occurs of two thousandths of a millimeter. I'm going to zoom back out by using the Zoom Extends command. I'm going to click OK to continue rebuilding this object. Now when I turn the control points on, you can see that I can move them and freely edit them without having to deal with any kinks. So again, to cover, curves can be open or closed. They have a degree, which has to do with the level of smoothness. They have control points for editing. They have not vectors. When they're closed curves, they have a seam where the start point and the end point overlap. The importance of a seam will become more apparent when we start constructing 3D surfaces from our curves. That concludes this lesson on using NURBS curves.